Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Um, you know, this weekend's been amazing. We hit a thousand subscribers and we can't be uh, thankful enough and can't show our gratitude enough of that. We've been so blessed with that. Um, next, I mean, it was a crazy weekend. Uh, started off elk hunting, got into elk. You know, <laughs> you guys are about to see great it went two down. days of hunting. It was yeah. pretty awesome. Got some awesome footage and everything. Now you can see... I say it multiple times that I'm so mad I didn't get the kill shot. Well, I did not think I got the kill shot until we got literally home. And I did a little dig in in a little bit, and I found the kill shot. My phone was glitching out, and so disregard everything I said in the video about that, So, because we got it. Um, so it definitely pays off to scout during the early season. I've been out, uh, and it wasn't really scouting, it was archery season. Archery season. But, uh, you know, I found this spot, found a little honey hole. Um, saw some bulls in there, you know, you know, and obviously during these hunts, you know, we're not looking for a great big bull. We're looking for anything illegal. And so we told Caleb, we said, yeah, let's go out, you know, get out there and we can, we can find you a bull. We told him, you know, we're eventually going to see a bull during this hunt. We, that's what we told him. We had six days on it. That's, that's basically what we told him. That's right. So we, uh, the week prior to that, we went out, we went long distance shooting we went shooting what 930 yards 930 just yards double. 900 yards we were just you know double checking the rifles you know verifying our rounds verifying our moa just getting all of our dope charts ready for this hunt and it definitely paid off yeah we trust caleb shooting 100 percent, and you can see in this video it pays off so yeah caleb's a good shot he's pretty good at taking his time even though we didn't have much time on this bull we you know he's definitely steady took his time and to put the smack down. Um, I mean, it's just so awesome that we get these experiences and uh, we love getting on film and sharing it with you guys. Yep, we're super blessed and we just can't wait to show you guys this hunt. So, yeah. so with further ado, let's, let's get to the video. So it's crazy to say, but we're leaving elk to go find elk. We don't see any bulls. They've pretty much all fed out. There's like, there's got to be 20, 20 elk in this unit, but they're all cows, not even a spike. So it's still cold. They're still feeding. We're going to bomb to another place and try to see if we can find a bull. All right, shoot him. Deep draw. Oh my gosh! Guys, what did we just do? We just smoked a hog of a five point. Dude, I am so mad right now. My phone was glitching out and I actually told Caleb to don't shoot two times because my phone was glitching out. And <clears throat> finally I pressed record. He shot just dropped him 
just i mean it just dropped them 840 yard shot and uh and i mean it was the last chance we had he was about to go over and he came back out broadside and and dude he just dropped him and it's a big five point oh my god oh <laughs> dude Man. this is awesome like, yesterday <laughs> opening day we got like 30 30 elk or something like yeah. that and then we come out here first unit and a freaking big five point and caleb just drops him oh what do you think of that oh i'm so happy with it oh <laughs> god oh all right guys we are headed in we started at first to uh we started at first to cut our way in because i had a chainsaw but Hunter went up the road and looked around the corner and it's just like this for a quarter mile. So we're gonna just hike in and go pack it out and like normal. So we got a little bit of a pack out ahead of us, but here we go. Nothing like the word go. All right guys, here we go. We see him. Put in two, two days of elk hunting out here. And Caleb puts the smack down on a really nice bull we see him up here. We literally were right above him. Yeah, yeah. So I saw it. Uh, <laughs> no. Yeah, this makes sense. He was just barely, barely. Just to the point where we could see him. Yep. Oh, I see him. He's fine. Oh, God. Oh, he's a big dark horn bull. Oh my goodness, dude. He is. Oh my goodness, look at that. You hit him dead in the lungs. Look at all that bubble coming out of his nose. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, well, we got him. And uh, I mean, we're still all speechless. Uh, it's just such a blessing that we uh, even got an opportunity at this bull. I mean, you know, this is a pretty hard hunt to, to uh, hunt. I mean, a lot of people hunt it, a lot of you know, a lot of tags are given out to it, but we we managed to get it done here. I mean, uh, it's, it's only second morning of the season. We literally just got up to the landing. We were glassing, glassing for a bit, and then Hunter was like, ooh, I'm pretty sure that's an elk. And then as soon as I was going to get the spot and scope, he said, yeah, it's a big bull. So we didn't mess around. We got it all set up. Um, but unfortunately, unfortunately, my phone glitched out and stopped recording at the kill shot. So um, sadly, we didn't get the kill shot. But... You know, who cares? We got we got the bull, and that's all that matters. But Caleb made a perfect shot, and uh, it was pretty awesome. But what do you guys think? Yeah. Couldn't just ask for a better experience? Couldn't yeah. ask for a better bull? Crazy event. Yeah. Big five-point, dark antler, ivory tips. I mean, probably the biggest body bull I've ever seen. It's it's a big body. Uh, we're going to have a fun time trying to pack them out. It's pretty brushy back to the truck, so we're going to be we're gonna be here for a couple hours probably more than that um but i think that's your longest range shot isn't it yeah 840 yards 840 yards so that was pretty pretty spectacular so we're just so blessed to have this opportunity if you like the video guys like and subscribe thanks for watching